Hey there, it's Action Bible Time. So, on page 109 of Action Bible, Ringing Benjamin, based on Genesis 43 through 44. Jacob, the old chieftain, faces a hard decision. But why should the governor of Egypt hold Simon in prison until he sees Benjamin? What does he want with my youngest son? Nobody knows, Father, but if I don't go, Simon will die in prison and we will starve. I have to go. Benjamin is right. Then go, but this time take double the amount of money for grain. Take gifts for the governor and may God be merciful to us. Days later, Jacob's son lead their pack animals through the gates of the Egyptian city. Don't worry, Benjamin. We'll do everything we can to protect you. I'm not afraid. God will take care of us here, just like he does in our old fields at home. At the brothers' return, Joseph releases Simon from prison. Then he questions Judah. Is your father well? Yes, your excellency. And is this your youngest brother? Yes, this is Benjamin. The sight of his own brother, Benjamin, reminds Joseph of their mother, who died when Benjamin was born. Suddenly, he cannot face his half-brother, so he turns and leaves the room. What happened? Joseph returns to the banquet hall to continue the plan to test his brother's they are seated, and the food is served, but even this is a mystery to them. Did you notice we are seated according to age? I tell you this man knows too much about us. What is he up to? But even as they wonder, the governor has the brothers served. He gives the largest portion to Benjamin. This is a sign of great honor. Do you see that? I hope that means Benjamin is safe. The banquet ends. The next morning, the brothers buy their grain and leave, but they are hardly out of the city before a chariot overtakes them. Stop. One of you has stolen my master's silver cup. Your master's cup? We are innocent. Search us if you want to. If I find the cup, the man whose sack it is hidden in will be punished severely one by one the sacks are searched and at last the officer opens benjamin's the cup i never saw it before never it's a mistake i tell you he didn't steal it my orders are to bring back the man who had the cup. You there, get in the chariot. Well, I'll go back with you, Benjamin. Back in the city, the brothers face the angry governor of Egypt. Did you think you could steal from me and get away with it? But I will be merciful. The one who had the cup will be my slave. The rest of you can return to your father. If Benjamin doesn't come home, our father will die of grief. Let me be your slave instead of Benjamin. For a moment there, silence. Then the governor turns to his guards. Go, leave me alone with these men. The terrified brothers wait. Finally, Joseph speaks. I can't keep the secret any longer. I am Joseph, your brother. You sold me as a slave many years ago. God has blessed me, and now we are together again. Right. See that. Well, that's it for that story, okay? But the story of yours is up to what you choose to serve. And I choose the Lord Jesus, and so does my family. And I would highly recommend serving him as well, because he's good. And your trust will... Be invested properly with him. Your fear and giving them your pain and misery, that's that's good too. Okay, so 
you can take any situation, turn it better. All right. So I love you. Jesus loves you. Have a great night.